Okay, let's see. You get the shaving cream, we got the razor, we got the thing. What else can I show today on the video? What can I show? You gotta take a shower, gotta do my hair. And oh, that's right. <laughs> let's try this thing out. Uh-huh. Let's shave. Well, hi, folks. It's Friday. Did you like that? Little, this is my little, uh, little vignette for you. <laughs> Aspiring filmmaker, Sinatra Lennon. Uh, yeah, I'm a remain to aspire. I don't know. So, yeah, what do you think of that? That thing that I was wearing at the beginning of this video is called a barber mask. Check this out. So this is kind of a brand new thing. It's not really been released yet, from what I understand. It's made up in Canada. And uh, I was contacted by Antoine. I believe he's one of the founders of the company. He said, hey, would you like to try out our new barber mask? So he sent me this card here, if you care to read what that says. And because he's probably in a certain province of Canada, there's also in full French. So you have to be, I think it's there are certain provinces, right? I don't know. I'm sorry. I apologize to my Canadian viewers, but I know you have to speak French in some dual language type thing. So anyway, product of Canada looks absolutely crazy. Don't you think? I mean, come on. We, we got to be obvious here. And when I saw this, I was like, what the heck is this? And at the same time, I'm like, you know what? I've got to try this thing out. I have got to see what this crazy contraption is. I mean, it's got brass buckles on it. It's made out of French terry cloth with a little bit of, uh, um, uh, there's something in there, polyester to keep its shape. Uh, it's called a barber mask, as I said, and you stick it over your head and you know what you do, you get this thing hot. It's like, you know, in the old timey West days when they put a hot towel on your face and then you'd shave because you got your whiskers all warm. Well, I take a shower to do that, so I don't need to do that. but. If you don't want to take a shower, or maybe you just have a sink full of hot water, drop this sucker down in the sink, let it get hot, let it get wet, and then, I'm not going to do it because I just took a shower and I don't want to <laughs> get myself all wet again, and then you put it on your face, and it's a towel that you wear around. Now, I just took a shower, as you saw, I really did. I wore this thing during the shower, so this is what it looks like when it's on, so your nose is, is not, see there's the side view, it's like Spider-Man. It's shaving with Spider-Man. And they have different colors. They have this one. They have like a, a yellow, a blue, and stuff like that. But anyway, this is kind of a new thing, and he's wanting to get some opinions. And so this is what you do. It's, it's still wet because I just used it in the shower. Now, I would not recommend wearing this and putting your face in the downspout of the shower because then your nose is getting in. And then I felt a little bit like, whoa, panicked. So don't do that. Maybe just get it wet and put it on. And don't submerge your face <laughs> in the shower. Anyway, that's what it does. The barber mask. So thank you, Antoine. And, uh, you know, if it seems like something you'd be interested in, go to barbermask.net. It does feel very soft. It is, I mean, it is weird. It is very strange. But you know what? Innovation. He's trying something new. That's why I'm supporting it. I'm supporting it. Now, whether you want to support it or not, totally up to you. $29. Right now, they're only available in Canada, so this is an ex I'm probably the only man in America wearing this barber mask right now, and I feel a little bit special for having done that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So thanks for having faith in me to even want to send this to me. And uh, yeah, I can breathe fine through it. As you can tell, I can talk fine. And it's got these crazy, look at the back of this thing. So it's got these little uh, brass buckles, and it's a circular thing, so you stick it through and then you twist it, and you get it on there like that, see? Interesting. And then the top goes over the top of your head. And I already did my hair, and it's still not messing up my hair. And you can adjust it. So anyway, there you go. 
it's a hot towel treatment when you ain't got time to lay back and have a hot towel on your face. You can just, you know, when you're, as he said in the video, you're clipping your fingernails, stick this thing on, and uh, yeah, there you go. So if that's beneficial to you, it's out there, it's available. There you go, the barber mask. Thank you, Antoine. And now that I'm all softened up here, well, I'm talking too much and I'm, it's starting to uns... I'm not gonna go any further with that. I'm gonna put some hot water on my face just because, and we're gonna start shaving. We're gonna lather up with some Taylor of Old Bond Street peppermint shaving cream. And I got out the old trusty Rockwell, which I haven't used in a long, long time. And I used it yesterday for the first time in I don't even know how long. I still love this thing. The Rockwell 6S, the stainless. You don't have to get the stainless, you can get the 6C. Save a little cash. Okay, what am I gonna do? We're gonna lather up with the Sinatra linen, all right. And then, Oh, remember, Taylor of Bond Street. Taylor of Old Bond Street. A little goes a long way. So, and I know that somebody said, hey, if your, your soaps are going to lose their scent if you bowl lather like you do. And I was like, well, that's just that's what I'm going to do. And if they lose their scent, that's okay. But that might be a reason that I hadn't thought of before why some of my shaving soap scents have uh, sort of gotten weaker over the years. So yesterday, I did not shave. Actually, I kind of did. I did a, a cursory electric shave, uh, electric, you know, razor, because I was I'm so busy yesterday, I did a million things, mow the yard, all this jazz, and now it's time to kind of relax, enjoy this Friday, or, yeah, Friday, <laughs> I can't keep track of what day it is, what time it is, nothing, so please don't, don't expect me to be able to. Yeah, the barber mask, that is a crazy, crazy idea, I think. But I am so impressed with anyone that takes a crazy idea and makes it into a reality. I mean, how many people do we all know in an everyday life that talk a big game, right? Oh, well, I'm going to do this. I'm guilty of it myself. But he did it. Antoine and uh, whoever your team of people is up there in Canada. I hope that, uh, I hope you find a market for it. I hope that some people will see this video and go, I have got to try that. That is the most unique shaving item I've ever seen. And it truly is. I mean, yeah, you get shaving brushes and razor blades and different razors, yada, yada, yada. But when does there really, truly come along a time when there's this just out of left field product? That's what this is. Crazy. So more power to you, Antoine, and your team over there at Barber Mask. It does feel nice. Terry cloth. French terry cloth. Do you have a... I don't understand all the uh, the the French slash British colony stuff up in <laughs> up in Canada. So I don't know if you have you know what what other governments you I just don't understand any of it. I'm terrible. But we might be going up to Quebec this summer. If we do, I'll let you know. We might take a little trip. A little day trip up to Quebec because we're, I think we're going to be in upstate New York around the uh, Syracuse Watertown area. And we might just take a little jaunt up into Quebec and maybe, I don't know if, uh, I should have looked and it doesn't say on here, uh, l'équipe Barba Masque. Félicitations pour votre achat grâce au Barba Masque. Vous aurez enfin le temps d'intégrer la serviette chaude dans votre routine Quotidienne de rassage. Is that all right? Does that sound good? I'll tell you what, sometimes I can pronounce French real pretty. I don't always understand it, but I, I can pronounce it. <laughs> I wish that I could speak languages as well as I can just read some of them, you know. I'm not saying all of them. I Spanish I can do, French I can do, they're related. Italian, you start to get a little bit different pronunciations, but growing up in Texas, you hear so much Spanish and then, you know, the French isn't so far off. And I took a bunch of French in middle school. There's the first pass. Oh, so nice and smooth. That was something I noticed when I was using the Rockwell yesterday. After that first pass with a feather blade, my cheeks double, which normally is, you know, how I test, you know, how efficient a razor is or how well it's cutting after the first pass. Man, I tell you, there was almost no Almost no whiskers. Don't sleep on the Rockwell. I know there's lots of other ones and the twig and all that other stuff, but man, now that I'm using this one again, I remember how much I love it. 
What a great solid, built like a tank. I know I must say that all the time. This was one of the first things anyone ever sent me. The Rockwell company got in touch with me. You'd have to go back and look and see what year and what month it all happened. But I put a video up of it. And I was so excited to get it. And man, I've received some really cool stuff over the years. And I hope to uh, continue to be the beneficiary of some of that kind of stuff. You certainly don't have to send me stuff, believe me. But I really appreciate it when you do. Well, I hope you're all doing well. Barring any uh, unforeseen circumstances, I'll be heading up to Fort Worth with my mom and the kids to see Paul McCartney on Tuesday night. So if you happen to be seeing Paul at the concert and you see me, come say hi, won't you? And Paul, if you're watching, I'd love to meet you. I'll bring you a razor. I'll bring you a can of Barbasol because I know you can't get it in the UK. <laughs> oh, I always wanted to try one, but I just can't get my hands on it. Oh, Paul, I'll help you up. In fact, I went to the uh, store yesterday before work and picked up another couple cans of the the uh, Barbasol one, this one, because they still had a ton of them. And it's like, I just ran out of my normal Barbasol, so this is my normal quote unquote Barbasol. I kind of want to keep a couple just for, you know, maybe one, maybe the one that Barbasol sent me, but it's so cool to see those out there. And I do, I do love this design. I do. It's just classic. It reminds me of the good old days, but nothing is constant, but change. Everything's got to evolve and change. Hopefully it doesn't change too much or evolve away from what made something special, whatever that thing is. I know we all see it in our towns and our cities, you know, things that we used to love are not there anymore. People that we used to love don't live there anymore. Remember when I had uh, lunch with my friend Carl last week? He's moving. So I got to find a new Carl. <laughs> all right, let's shave third pass. Sorry about the sun. Maybe if I stand over here, it'll be a little, ooh, look at that little. It's like filmmaking. Add interest to the scene of cinematography. Yeah, I had to set up that, uh, oh, I got a shout out. There's somebody I have to shout out. Who is it? Who is it? Hmm. Hold on. Let me go get my iPad and I'll let you know. Hold on. Okay, let's continue. I thought I had a shout out and I do, but I forgot. So if, if I was supposed to shout you out and I forgot to write your name down, please tell me again. Please, please, won't you? Normally when I see it, I immediately put it down in my notes app and I forgot to do that this time, so. Shout out to you, brother, or sister, cousin, uncle, whoever you are. Appreciate it. Oh, man. You know, it's a strange thing sometimes when I get to shaving. Like, I'll be you know, anxious or tense or thinking about, you know, oh, God, I got to get this done, got to get that done. But then when I'm in the middle of the thing, it kind of relaxes me, you know? Weird. Yeah, I know. I don't remember ever feeling that when I was just shaving with uh, cartridge razors because mostly what I did was shave in the shower and I had a little, you know, shower mirror that was always fogged up and supposedly anti-fog, but of course never was. And, you know, I was trying to make those, uh, those cartridges last as long as they could. So I was getting, you know, subpar shaves and just scraping away with the Mach 3 or whatever it was. That's what shaving was like before. And now, wow, well, it's a, it's like a whole other ball game. <laughs> okay, so there's three passes. Uh, man, so good. Problem area? Yeah, always, even with the Rockwell. Not as much though, I noticed. Oh, I use a plate five, by the way. This is the five. Everyone always asks me that, I forget to say. This is the five plate. My favorite number, five. Why? I don't know. I love nickels too. I love buffalo nickels. I love $5 bills. When I was a kid, I felt like if you had $5, you had some money. Whoa. Mom gave me a five to go to the arcade. What? And oh man, if you ever got to put a $5 bill into the change machine at the arcade, you felt like you were the king of the arcade. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I still get that feeling. Weird. All right. 
awesome. The name of the arcade we used to go to in Houston, down in southwest Houston, Sharpstown area, was called Games People Play. And there was a go-kart track next to it. And a batting cage. That was where I saw Defender for the first time. And Super Defender and Miss Pac-Man and... Oh, man, those are the days. You kids that, you know, are on streaming Twitch and everything else and doing everything. That was, that, that's, that, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't compare. The excitement of having to go to a building and hope that you had change, you know? Fantastic. All right, let's use bayonet butter just to finish this sucker off. Knock it on the head, as they say, somewhere in the world. Warm it up. You know, I'm wondering if this barber mask could be good just for, I don't know, like razor burn even, maybe. Like make it cold, don't make it hot. Don't make it warm, put it in some ice water. Heck, it might be good just to walk around <laughs> in the summertime with that thing on. Now you would need a mouth opening, so maybe, maybe not. But, uh, <laughs> I know, God, I just now thought. I know that masks are the last thing anybody wants to be wearing, but this, God dang, I can't believe I didn't think about that till right now. Oh, Lord am I. Anyway, the barber mask. Thanks, Antoine, for sending that to me. And I wanted to put it out there and, and feature it and try it out myself. And uh, while I don't know if it's something that I'll use, you know, uh, there might be somebody that will. So good luck to everybody over at Barber Mask. Bon chance as they say, the modern gentleman in mind, Don Le... Oh, look, I can't read. It's too small. I was going to try to mispronounce my French again. Anyway, everybody, have a great weekend. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you all very soon. All right.